With Turkey in the rearview mirror and snow in front of us, we're back with another week of new Switch games. It's a light week, and it's kind of an odd one. But we do have six new games to discuss with you today. We've got a release date update of a real winner and five new games here for you. Gabe, we've had really good weeks of new Switch announcements. Surprisingly, because for a while, things were slow and then it ramped up in spite of the release of many fall big games. This week, seems like some of the steam has run out of the engine. And it makes sense, right? It's December. Generally, people don't want to announce their new games in December. You want people to buy your games and your games that you're releasing that you announced previously. It totally makes sense. Not every week can be a winner. I think it's safe to say this is one of the weaker weeks in recent memory, but we must truck along regardless. Yes, and and want to let you know there's no buts about it. Uh, th- you know, th- this week is, isn't, isn't the most thrilling but hey there may be some games that surprise you and there's definitely one that i'm looking forward to a lot and i skipped out on ps4 but i'm absolutely buying on nintendo switch thankfully december 10th guacamelee 2 will be hitting the platform and what's nice here is that it was a ps4 exclusive when it launched a time exclusive and it's hitting switch december 10th not hitting xbox one till january so switch getting a little bit of priority there it gained guacamelee 1 earlier uh, this fall and now it gets guacamelee 2 and the dlc called tree and amigos tree and amigos okay. where you get to play as uh, enemies I-, I was having three amigos vibes there um you get that uh or you can get that for 2.99 um so the game will be coming out and the dlc will be there december 10th guacamelee and now guacamelee 2 some of the cooler looking Metroidvania games of recent memory, they were really, really cool on the Vita. Zach, you remember how cool the Vita was at one point? I I was looking at my Vitas the other day. It's like a no <laughs> that's like a totally real thing. I was showing my girlfriend like the PlayStation Vita because she had a PSP and somehow didn't know much about the Vita and I was like, look at the beauty of this platform. Before the Switch, this was the big screen you could take on the go. Oh man, remember when you can have one with LTE? Alright, let's not keep talking yes. about Vita. <laughs> but yeah, Guacamole is super cool games and I love this a thing that Nintendo seems to do a lot now where their games get announced and then they're out like a week or two later. Like that, that to me is like one of my favorite things about the, the Switch because it happens so often with indies on the platform where they'll announce it and the wait isn't very long so you can get yourself hyped and excited and then still get it in a relatively short time frame. Yeah, the game got a 9.3 from IGN. Um, the first one was one of my favorite Metroidvanias and I did play it on that lovely Vita platform. It was a ton of fun. Overall, it got an 84 on Metacritic, so a very good game coming to Switch a couple days after Super Smash Bros. From there, Gabe, I go to the most exciting game on the list. Mm -hmm. Basketball is hitting the Switch, and it's available right now. This game was just announced, and it's out, and it looks like the greatest interpretation of my favorite sport I have ever seen. Zach, allow me to tell you a little bit about basketball in in case you you, you don't know. You get to show off your best moves on the court. You get to block shots, steal the ball, and even make a slam dunk. Have you got what it takes to win the Urban Basketball Championship, Zach? I don't think you do. It's $10. (laughs) And, um, I mean, I just love that they got the sport name. Like, they, they were, you know, this isn't like... You know, NBA Jam, this isn't NBA 2K, this isn't like Street Ballers 6, this is just basketball. And I, I, I just, I wish I could get inside the, the headspace of these developers who are like, you know what, we're going to make a game that's just straight up basketball. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, it's basketball. This looks like this runs on a Nokia phone natively of some kind. Remember Nokia? Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, it's, I, not, I'm, it's not a what? good looking game. <laughs> Speaking of what you said earlier, I'm so glad there was never, like, an LTE option for the Switch. I'm so glad that wasn't a thing. I'm so glad there weren't multiple versions that had, like, I mean, maybe it would make, like, Fortnite on the go a little better. But I'm so glad it is a Wi-Fi-focused system and that they didn't get goofy uh, with N-Gage and freaking Vita. <laughs> Time, times, man, times have come so far. Basketball, that's how much we have to say about you. (laughs) Basketball. Okay, this one's actually pretty good. So, you know know what? Maybe the week isn't that bad after all. The Lego Movie 2 video game was announced, and as with every video game that involves Lego ever, it's coming to Switch. Uh, There's no date 
um, for it, but the movie and the real life Legos will be coming and they say the game will launch alongside it as to be expected. Based on the events of the Lego Movie 2, the second part, alien invaders have left Bricksburg in ruins. It's now up to Emmett, Lucy, and a host of heroic characters, including Batman, Zach, to go beyond the world and save their friends from the strange inhabitants of the Sistar system. Get it? Sistar? Sister? Got it. I don't know yeah, if you the get movie, it. I do get it. The movie comes out February 8th, um, so the game, I'm sure, will actually be out around there. And that's going to, again, add... Another release to Q1. I feel like Q1 is going to be crazy for Nintendo. Or maybe like Q1.5. I feel like February through April is going to be like a really big time. And not not to say it's going to happen, but if Skyward Sword HD was able to make its very uh, typical March release date, the early months are going to be pretty packed. Yeah, and this is one of the ones that I'm going to feel pretty safe skipping over, luckily. Uh, there's a lot of games to play, and I don't know that LEGO Movie 2 is going to be on my radar necessarily. But, hey, it, it's really cool that they bring them on to Nintendo Switch Day 1. That That's still something that I really appreciate. Absolutely. 39 Days to Mars is coming to Nintendo Switch in early 2019. It is a puzzle adventure game previously released on PC, and it's hitting the Switcheroo and the Xbox Uno in early next year, it is a one to two player cooperative adventure game set in an alternate reality some 150 years in the past. You're tasked with piloting the HMS Fearful, a masterpiece of unreliable engineering on its maiden voyage to Mars. Basically, things go wrong and uh, you learn that interstellar travel is not so easy. And it takes the talents of two of you working together on a mix of puzzle and action sequences to get to Mars in one piece. It's a really cool concept and I actually remember uh, seeing this game when it first released and thinking it would be something cool for us to play a game because it does require two people traveling to Mars and that sounds like quite the time. Uh, it got pretty good reviews on Steam. It's $15 there. Uh, it has positive reviews, not a ton of them, but it does look like it could be something fun to add to the Switch. I'm always looking for a cool co-op experiences on Nintendo Switch, and this one seems like it could foot the bill quite nicely. I like puzzles, Zach. You know this, uh, and I know this about you, so maybe this is something we can do together at some point. Yeah, and the, the two dudes in the game, I don't know, they, they look like great approximations of Gabe and I, so uh, okay. you're, you're seeing the footage now, and I'm sure I'm sure one of them looks like Gabe and one of them looks like me. I definitely see it. Dude, so. you're not wrong, honestly. <laughs> I, it, really, it really does. I, I like the art style a lot, actually. It's it's a very clever, like, monochromatic backgrounds with these, like, stark white characters and stark white, like, menus and puzzles. And it's pretty nifty. Um, yeah, it seems creative. Some reason, seems cute. Yeah, it reminds me of, uh, like, Don't Starve graphically mixed with, like, The Incredible Machine. So Okay. There you go. Next up, we have Hunter's Legacy Perfect Edition. If Cat Tales wasn't enough... Uh, feline action for you this fall. <laughs> My birthday is another game. We've got Hunter's Legacy Perfect Edition coming to Switch December 13th. Embark on a feline-filled quest set in an action-packed fantasy universe brimming with fierce enemies, intense sword fighting, and the classic feeling of, you guessed it, a Metroidvania adventure. Gabe, another one of one of your favorite genre genres, this time with your favorite kind of animal. Hey, I might have to play this one for that reason alone, but this trailer has one of my biggest pet peeves uh, with these uh, indie announcements where they yes. go and open a chest and there's a little switch inside. I don't like that. I, I, I don't know why. Ooh, has that, <laughs> has that happened a lot before? Yeah, Enter the Gungeon. There's a bunch of them that, 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 that have done that, uh, honestly. Uh, you're, you're not a fan of Switch in Switch game jokes. Yeah, no, but I am a fan of cats. I am a fan of Metroidvania, so I might try this one. I'm going to probably see if, if there's any reviews out there or anything first just because I don't want to spend money on something that might not be up uh, to par. But, hey, I, I might not have anything to do on your birthday, but there's a ton of games to come out. So. <laughs> there really is a lot. I, yeah. I think Gris is the one that we're waiting for the most, but like they just announced that the OG Fantasy Star is coming on December 13th. Uh, we have Everspace on December 13th, Omen Sight coming on December 13th, there's uh, V-Rally 4, Knights of Pen and Paper 2, I mean... You know I'm going to be all, one, all over that V-Rally action, Zach, that V-Rally <laughs> action, I can't stay away. No, let's let's be real, Gabe, you'll, you'll still be playing basketball come December 13th, that's only two, like, two and a half weeks away. <laughs> Probably. Also, Gabe, my birthday's in two and a half weeks. I'm aware. <laughs> Thanks. All right, last up on our list, announced at... A uh, event in Japan, Kill a Kill, 
is coming to Switch. It's uh, previously released on PS4 and PC, and now they are they announced two new characters and that they're bringing the game to Switch. So for you fans of the anime and for you fans of these fighting games, it's coming at some point. I've never seen the anime. I've heard about it. I've heard that it's decent. Um, I, I do watch anime. When you asked me what Kill a Kill was, I instantly said, hey, it's an anime. I've heard of it. Um, yeah, you it, know. It, yeah. Uh, I'm familiar with it, just never like fully seen it, but maybe I will. Uh, who knows? I like these anime fighting games. Dragon Ball Fighters clearly stands out as one of the more popular and more recent ones. Right. But- yeah, I know you're not into these as much, but the the fighting mechanics are often like pretty well done on these, so I'm always excited to see how they do. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So it's a small week. Uh, it might be considered a dull week, um, but it, it's it's still got some gold, and I think that gold is in the form of Guacamelee 2. Like legitimately, that will be probably one of the best indie games to release on Switch this year. It comes very late in the cycle, and you know there's been a lot of really top tier titles this year including our favorite Celeste. But Guacamelee 2, like, that's one I'm picking up, like, as soon as it launches, and I think probably is recommendable to everybody. It, it, they're challenging, but not super challenging, and they have such a good flair, and it, it's, 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 a, it's a literal fiesta. The best kind of fiesta, right? Because Wait, is there fiestas that aren't literal? Is there <laughs> that, a different? That, that's there... for you to. That's for you to tell us. Okay, I I just wasn't aware that. I mean, if there's another fiesta that I'm not, you know, privy to, <laughs> did, did someone have a fiesta and not invite me? Is that because that what you're telling me? They, oh, they. I'm sure they did. That that, oh, that I'm sure of. Oh man, um, how dare they! You were too busy getting excited for basketball. So <laughs> True. Uh, let us know which of these you are pumped for. Is it Guacamelee Two? Is it Basketball Lego Movie Two? Video Game One. <laughs> 39 days to Mars. You got a little of that. Zach, uh, Zach, for no reason whatsoever. If they ever make a Lego movie about cows, they should call it the Lego movie. Thanks, Gabe. I don't uh, know. Hunter's Legacy. <coughs> Perfect edition. I'm allergic, I guess, to cats. That's not good. Um, and then, last but not least, we've got Kill a Kill coming to Switch. Let us know your take in the comments down below. It seems like... It seems like Gabe Guacamelee and... It may be like the last great announcement of the year. I mean, I mean, there might be something towards the end of the year. Well, I, 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 re- I retract that statement. Game Awards are next week, so it oh, might actually get a little. True. It might actually get a little crazy. So, if you felt like this week was a letdown, you might be in for a a real let up tomorrow or next week because th- there there's supposed to be a bunch of world premieres, supposed to be a bunch of announcements. Uh, I'm sure there will be some interesting things for Switch, and we'll have you covered. In the meantime, though, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from this darling platform and its plethora of games in the quad digits now. Some great, some good, some just got awful, uh, and some called basketball. For myself and Gabe, a fantastic day, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Switch. It's a good time to be an owner. Smash is close, Game Awards are near, and basketball is out now. So until next time, myself and Gabe, thanks again. Switch Force, 